Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to say that this is another location that we're shooting at. Today, I'm at a restaurant called Pho Vietnam and I have a special guest with me. This is my friend David and we're gonna be trying out Pho Vietnam. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. There is only one of you, only one of me There's a million of those who won't let us be But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby I got you, 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 you Okay guys, so right now we are currently in the restaurant. We had the option of going outside and eating outside, but the humidity is just too crazy, so I think we're just gonna stay inside for today. It's uh, 90 degrees outside, but uh -huh. it's, uh, it's always an honor to be in this restaurant. I don't think a better place in New Hartford sells a better bar mean, honestly. They got these awesome appetizers here. This one down here is my favorite, deep fried combo platter. You get two pork spring rolls, two uh, vegetable spring rolls, two fantail shrimps, two pork dumplings, two chicken dumplings, and uh, two vegetable dumplings. And it's just absolutely amazing. I'm gonna try my spring roll. Rice paper wrapped with shrimp slash tofu, lettuce, bean sprout, carrots, mint, and cucumber. So it's gonna be refreshing, especially for a humid day like today. It'll definitely uh, cool you down. It's gonna hit the spot. It definitely will. <laughs> You're right. That's really refreshing. Yeah. Right. That's that's really good, guys. I think it's the condiment. It's also that, but definitely like paired together with it. I think it's the vegetables and the rice and the shrimp. Yep. Try this one. Give it a shot. Get some sauce, bro. Mmm. Heck yeah. Dude. The crunch. I don't know if my microphone can pick it up, but the crunch from the wrap, so good. I'm gonna try to dip in this sauce. There's a real nice crunch from this thing too. I wasn't expecting that, it's kinda spicy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think this one's the sweeter one, this one's the spicier one. I ordered the spicy lemongrass. It's rice noodles with beef eye round, pork roll, beef shank, beef tendon, meatball topped with onion, cilantro, scallions and black peppers with a side of shredded celery and shredded cabbage, bean sprout, Thai basil, lime, and jalapeno. So these are my sides right here and they're gonna be a little spicy and in my past video I said I don't handle spice well so we'll see how we do. David, what'd you get? I got the uh, uh, the beef stew on okay. the menu. And you see that's, that's big chunks of meat. Lots of the time you don't get nice big chunks of meat like that in a beef stew, except at home, <laughs> you know? It's really good. I don't think I've ever had spicy beef stew before, but we'll try it. David, can you handle spice well, or? I love spicy food. Um, it's, a, it's an awesome thing to cry while you're eating spicy food, and <laughs> um, especially when you feel it in your uh, sinuses. It uh, really uh, wakes you up very quickly. Now, on a cold day, it warms you very well. <laughs> so uh, that's the one good side to spicy food. So we finished our appetizer, now we're gonna go to the main course and David is trying out his food. Really good? I think this is the best beef stew I've ever had. Yeah? No joke. No joke. No joke. Like, my brother-in-law makes a great beef stew, so does my mother, but this is by far. It's spicy, all the flavors that come together, they meld together perfectly. And it's just uh, amazing. Yeah. Not too hot, not too spicy. Yeah. But that, that could just be me. For other people, it could be spicy. Yeah. But it tastes like all around an amazing beef stew. Can I try some? Go ahead, bro. Try that. You should get the vegetables in there, bro. Hmm? It's really good. Wow. It literally falls apart in your mouth. Mm hmm 
in the carrot. Like, you don't have to chew into it, bite into it. It's perfectly soft. That's how vegetables are supposed to be cooked. Dang. All right. Cool. I'm like a, like a miniature Gordon Ramsay now. <laughs> so I think it's about time. I stopped sipping on my bubble tea and try actually my spicy lemongrass. I, I, these are like thicker noodles. Wow. So definitely get that. Mm. Dude, that's good. Let me try the beef link. Ooh, look at that. Try it with the soup. So definitely I'd say the beef has been like, it's been cooking for a little bit and so it's like when you bite into it, the like it just falls apart in your mouth. The soup is spicy itself and I can't really handle spice, but with the meat, it kind of dampens it down a little and the noodle, it just adds a great texture and great flavor all together. Do the vegetables calm the flavor down at all as well or no? Yes, the freshness from the cilantro and the onions definitely helps a lot. You wanna try some, David? Dude, I would love to try some. Dude, help yourself. Hopefully I don't die, you know? Some dishes, they catch you off guard. Yeah. You're not prepared. There's a beef flank right there. That's what I like about this place. Not too many of their dishes are like on that high level of spice where it makes you regret eating it the next three days after. So like, basically everybody can come here, enjoy every meal with their family or by themselves or with a significant other, you know? Good date spot. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful in here. So basically we just finished eating and currently we're just heading back. Um, it was a pretty good day, I'd say yeah. so myself. It's a very good day. The food was great, hospitality was Feel great. energized after eating all that food. I'm, I'm stuffed, I'm ready to go to sleep actually <laughs> for me, so. That's it for today. I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys later. Have a great day. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special guest with me and I hope that you would welcome him as he introduces himself. Hey, my name is Kai. I work here and my family actually own Full Vietnam. During this series, I just wanted to say that as we get to look at the businesses, I just want to show you guys a face on the people that are serving you. So I prepared on my phone beforehand a series of questions. Is that all right with you? Yeah. The first question I wanted to ask you, Kai, was what was the reason for starting this business? We want to have our own business. Usually Asian people, refugees, immigrants, usually people coming here, working in the factory, nine to five, have like the fixed income. So my family figured that we should try something to, you know, change that. Dude, that's so awesome. I, I totally relate with that being a first generation immigrant. Um, you know, wanting your family to be entrepreneurs and literally starting a business, had no idea how to run it and just learning from the ground up. I really respect that. Thank you. So this question is a little more serious, all right? Did you have any challenges with running the restaurant during 2020? Um, you mean doing COVID, right? Yeah. So, yes, actually, but no. During COVID, we actually closed for a couple months. Um, really? Three months, four months to be exact. Then we actually reopened it when the federal actually let us, let the restaurant run normal. Yeah. Um, we didn't have any dining, so it was just only the family working. It was like four or five people of us. Wow. The job actually was uh, easier. Okay. Yeah, because it's like four or five people working and it wasn't really that busy like right now. The only challenges that I've had to face is uh, all the supply. Mm. Like we have to get rid of it or trying to eat it off. Yeah, yeah, and, so you know, it doesn't go bad. So it doesn't go bad, yes. Did it get like sickening after a while? Or oh, no. We actually have to, we share with our family. Okay. I have a big family here. Yeah. So. I mean, make it work. Yeah, everyone was eating good for a little bit, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, yeah. My next question is, how did you manage to overcome that challenge? Overcome the, the COVID? Yeah. I actually learned from it. Um, we was closed for a little bit. Those three to four month breaks was uh, actually helped me to um, overlook 
everything that I did, mm. um, fix myself. When we first opened the business, it was uh, the first business that we ever opened, right? Yeah. So my parents, they don't speak well. Like, mm. We have a lot of misunderstood. Um, I feel bad and stuff, mm. but... Yeah, yeah, miscommunication. People, yeah, people probably understand or people not, but yeah. it's just business. Yeah, especially in the restaurant industry, things yeah. are going out so fast. Yep. And you can't really, if you mess up an order, it's kind of, it's bad. It's a lose-lose situation for the restaurant and the customer and the employees. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anything that deal with the operating system, uh, managing system, mm -hmm. I see it mainly it's awful because um, we lack of experience. Mm -hmm. um, learn from myself and then trying to be better mm -hmm. as like um, what should I do to what should we do as the whole to be better as a family owned restaurant mm -hmm. we want to have everyone here as like coming in and like through like, like family family and in a free yeah. free environment to work not mm -hmm. just like coming here and then yeah, yeah uncomfortable yes yeah. You try to be accommodating to the employees yeah. but also have like some rules you know, to yeah. set down boundaries, basically. Yep. Yeah, that's so, what I'm trying to do, actually. How did you, like, educate yourself, or how did you, like, inform yourself to become, a, like, a better manager at this family restaurant? It's mainly because of my parents. They, so they have experience of it, and also from school, too. I actually took computer science at first. Then when we took this over, I um, transferred to a business administration, mm. um, human resources, wow, yeah. business management. You learn from those. Um, professor, from the book that you read in school. Mm. We're gonna be here forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the way I look at it is like... Might as well be efficient as yeah, possible. Yeah, might as well trying to be, be better, Yeah, you know? My question to you is, what do you want to tell other young people who are looking to start their own restaurant or business? Um, I would say definitely take risks. You don't know. Mm -hmm. you, def you, well, you don't know what the future holds, right? Yeah. So believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Believe in people surrounding you. Mm -hmm. Well, I consider myself lucky because um, I have my family around here, which who I can rely on. Mm -hmm. But certain people that they don't have, you know. The stability. If you look at it, we're in the U.S. It's a lot of opportunities yeah. for you can do. Mm. You basically could do everything here. Mm -hmm. So trying to take advantage of that.